What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mitchin Outdoors. Welcome to the Sunday blog. Vlog. Uh, real quick, I'm going to pop the garage door. Got a couple things to go over with you on. Oh, let me shave. Um, the East Tennessee trip is happening. We've booked everything. Um, we'll be leaving on May 10th, which is a Friday. Coming back on May 12th. We're going to Nemo's Tunnel on that Friday. And then Friday afternoon, we'll end up at Wind Rock Park, Off-Road Park. Um, so, with that said, if you want to meet up with us at any one of those places, um, I don't know, get in touch with me this week, and we'll see if we can make that happen. Uh, we'll be at Wind Rock Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday morning. So, uh, right now I'm going to grab a couple things, show you that we're going to be taking with us because a uh, campsite I reserved for this trip is a primitive site. That means no water. So, we got to take water. Um, also, means no electricity. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to combat that. <laughs> I say combat that because we'll have to charge things. You know, that's how it goes these days. Uh, so give me a second. I'll be right back and we'll show you more. Okay. So we're back. One of the things, um, I was talking about at Windrock, we're not going to have is electricity or water. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure they got water at the campground, but the campsite itself won't have water. So to combat that, I bought this yesterday. And I'm really considering going and getting another one, having 12 gallons of water with us on the camp at the campsite plus we'll have drinking water too but i mean i'll drink i'll drink tap water if you drink out of a garden hose i'm still alive um anyway <laughs> the other thing i'm gonna do is i'm taking my uh, uh power pack here i'm gonna take this with me uh this is a hand crank style deal i'm not gonna sit here and show you how it works i got a video i will link down below on this then I picked this up for the truck <clears throat> here a while back. Um, here a while back, a couple weeks ago. Um, I've tested it out. The problem I had at Davy Crockett State Park, there was no 110 plug ups in the campsite. I had to go down to the bathroom. Well, I can fire the truck up, hook this thing up, and blow up my air mattress. Getting smarter. And then I've got this. I've always had this. I've used it around here a couple of times. But it has a 12 volt battery plug up. So I'm going to take that with us too. I can actually run it off of this if I need to. Or I can run it off the truck. Normal 12 volt. I've tried that. Uh, or if I really need to, I can run it off of this and get even more light. Because it has two brightness or two light settings. And one of them's for 110, one of them's for. Um, 12 volt. So, with all that said, um, I've got more we'll bring to you here in a little bit. Right now, I'm get some things done. Uh, one of the things I want to do is run this thing completely dead and recharge it 100%. Um, just need to, just needs to be done. So anyway, um, this is a pretty cool thing. Like I said, I will um, put a link in the description below about that power pack. All right, guys, uh, that's it for now. I'll be back shortly. All right, <clears throat> I'm doing a little testing here. So I know this, is, this puts out 12 volt and 110 power. So I wanted to see, um, you know, what all I can run off of it. And that's a plus. I can run that light off of that at 12 volt. So let's see, other side is 110. Yep, it's surge protected too. I think that's what it says. 100 watt outlet. So, let's see. Will it run? No. No. It will not run. Wait a minute. Do you have to unplug that? I can't remember. No. It won't run this. At all. Uh, so, that's a little over its. But it will run in 12 volt, which you don't get all the power at 12 volt. On this light that you would at 110, but it's still pretty darn bright. So 
Okay, so it'll run that. It's good to know. It's good to know. So, I'm going to unplug that. Like I said, this I'm keeping in my truck. I know y'all are probably going to say, oh, Patrick, you can't do that. That's just not right. I'm trying to turn my truck into kind of an overland vehicle. And I know it's two-wheel drive. It's not four-wheel drive. But I still think it will work. Um, you know what I mean. Um, been doing a lot of search on it. Been doing, you know, checking a lot of different things. And I see a lot of people doing it. So, I know I can't go off-roading, per se, um, around here with it. Uh, getting in serious stuff, mud and that kind of stuff, it just won't happen. Um, does need better tires. It's just got Goodyear Street tires on it right now, um, which I did not put on there. It came on it when I bought it. With that said, um, <laughs> I'm not just going to go changing tires uh, right now because it still has some tread left and I'm going to use them up. But anyway, so we're going to include this light in the bed. I'm going to, I'll show you those here in just a second. Actually, let's go right now. Take a look at what I'm doing or what I've done. Nissan's have a uh, track system in them. Uh, anybody knows anything about Nissan knows about those track systems. Bear with me. So what I did, you can see right up under here, there's two J hooks. Uh, we use these in our low voltage field uh, to running cable throughout a building and stuff. And the way they're in there is by spring nuts. I saw the idea on Primal uh, Outdoors channel where he used the spring nuts on the thing he was making. And I thought, I wonder if those would fit in that track system. And they do. And that track system runs the whole side of the bed. So I could actually put these all over. I don't have the extended thing in here. It didn't come with the truck when I got it. So I've got the thing in here. I could take it out. We could put a couple more down through there, down through there. Uh, you know, hang shovels, whatever. So I was going to show you. I can hang this. It hangs right here on this hook. And as you can see, it does not get wet in here. It's dry as a bone. And I got firewood back over there. So I can hang that light right there. And it's handy. And there's a 12 volt outlet here also. So anyway, uh, I got a couple more things I'm going to do. I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> so something else this thing's got to be able to do, uh, if I'm going to take it with me, lug it on a trip, or make it part of my uh, um, loadout for trips, it's got to charge camera batteries. Come on. So, here's my camera battery charger for my big camera. We're going to figure out how these go in. Like it's the first time I've ever charged these batteries. And when I say my big camera, this one, this Canon uh, video camera with microphone. So, turn it over here to 110 power. Uh, let's see. Plug it up. Where's the little charge light? Oh, you know what? You know what? It may have powered that light because I just realized that um, I didn't have the AC power on the outlet. Now, it's got a fan in it. It's not kicking on now. It's charging. It's charging the battery. Uh... I'm not getting any indication that it's not working. So anyway, how much stuff you throw at it? Fits. Hmm. Anyway, so that's it. <clears throat> it's charging. Lights orange, which means it's charging. 
and it shows this at 75 percent so anyway all right i'm probably gonna cut this vlog off here because it's gonna be a little longer than it really needed to be in the camera i love when you put these things back and never straight um so anyway i'm just showing you some of the things i'm getting ready for for the big camping trip with titan and uh, of course we'll be having bill's jeep i'll throw in a picture right now of that um because y'all haven't seen it yet and it'll be actually debuting when we go up to nemo and um well that's about it um i got other things coming up this week i got a video coming out tuesday of course um i you know, probably won't do a sunday vlog next week we'll see if i have anything major about the trip i'll you know do a sunday vlog to remind you guys um other thing remember we're leaving out may 10th uh from here in good old mount juliet tennessee headed up to east tennessee headed to nemo's tunnel first uh means we'll have to dock the truck somewhere and um We'll uh, be taking a Jeep to Nemo. Truck ain't going to Nemo. Um, truck is for support. And if we break the Jeep, we can get a trailer and haul the Jeep back with it. <laughs> That'd be the only thing. So, with all, uh, okay. Um, Trying to think. So, like I said, we'll be there on the 10th. Then we'll be moving to Windrock on the 10th also that afternoon. Um, so, we'll be at Windrock from friday afternoonish to sunday morning so if you want to come out and go for one with us on saturday <clears throat> get in touch with me let me know there were still plenty of um camping um primitive camping spots open for that weekend i think there's like five or six maybe more than that so if you wanted to come up and camp hang out with mid 10 outdoors a little bit and go four-wheeling with us with your jeep or your off-road vehicle of your choice i mean if you've got a i don't care what it is if it's a toilet tacoma you like slinging it to mud and stuff whatever uh we'll be there just get in touch with me and we'll make everything happen you know we'll hang out and uh we'll get in the mud and dirt and whatever else supposed to they're, now they're calling for a little bit of rain that weekend uh, but you know how long-term forecasts go. They don't know what they're talking about when it's short-term for forecast. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. Um, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out my affiliate links down below. And don't forget to check out all the other links down below. And we will see you soon. Later. Be prepared.